everyone, it has been a little bit since I've done a good old fashioned Amazon haul, but you may have noticed there's a little thing going on on Amazon, started today, it's gonna go through tomorrow. They're doing Prime Days 2.0. But instead of overwhelming you with a ton of sale recommendations, which honestly can get very overwhelming, I have just cut to maybe three to five suggestions in the categories of like beauty and home, lifestyle type stuff. And then I thought for fashion, I would just do a regular try on. So first let's start with a dress that isn't exactly new to me. If you've been around a little while, then this should look familiar because I shared it late spring, early summer absolutely love this t-shirt dress because it's a little more fitted in the bodice and it's a little longer than some of the other tiered t-shirt dresses that have been making the rounds. I like this particular length on me. I feel more comfortable in it. It also has pockets and like all things Amazon comes in a multitude of colors. And I should say before we get much further, um, I'll have my actual sizing, current sizing information down in the description box. And in there, not only is it gonna list everything I'm wearing in the order in which I share it with you here, but the links to shop, to explore what other colors they come in, my sizing, the prices, all the things. This time I decided to pair it with a booty. I particularly think that my legs look a little bit better with a little bit of a heel, but you could obviously pair this with anything, any kind of flats, looks really cute with sneakers. And then if you're lucky enough to actually be experiencing fall weather, then this would look great with the denim jacket of your choice thrown over it. Let's move on to outerwear. So, very much still a trend, I don't think it's going anywhere for a while, is the shacket. There are definitely some shackets that are more flattering than others. I really like this one because it's not the boxy cut that I see so often. Maybe that's because this one doesn't have pockets. It's a thinner weight material. It's sort of a flannel feel to it. Has quite a few different plaid options to choose from. It is a little oversized. I'm wearing mine in a size small, but it, it see how it hugs the body just a little bit more instead of that boxy look. So I feel like this option is a little more flattering and I really like the longer length on it. Next up, this has been popular for a little bit. If you are familiar with the J. Crew sort of sweater blazer, they're the ones that sort of pioneered this look. I love that Amazon has taken it and run with it and made it even more affordable. This is a slightly longer version of the sweater blazer cardigan thing. And if you want something to look a little more elevated, a little more dressy, get it in camel. Camel is just that beautiful neutral color that seems to work well with pretty much every skin tone and it'll make even just a basic t-shirt and jeans look a little more elegant. Wherever you happen to live, this is either a fun sweater or if you live somewhere where it doesn't get particularly cold, you could wear this as a fall jacket. It layers over everything. I'd say it runs true to size, if not a little bit oversized because I'm wearing it in a size small. If this khaki color is not your thing, I believe it comes in 14 other colors. So there is a color for everyone but I feel like you can never go wrong with khaki slash camel colored coats or sweater cardigan blazer coats in this case. I love a camel walking coat, a long coat, car coat sometimes they're called, whatever you wanna call it. This particular silhouette on a wool type coat is just classic, it's perfect, it never goes out of style, but it's usually pretty expensive. Um, I do have one that I picked up a few years ago from Sam Edelman that I am loving and will continue to pull out, but I was really excited when this popped up on my screen from Amazon. This is from an Amazon house brand and it comes in two options. This kind of, it's camel, but it has a little more brown undertone to it. So if the traditional camel color doesn't work for your skin tone, you might prefer this one instead. It also comes in a beautiful basic black you cannot go wrong with either of the color choices. It's right at $50, so it's a really good price point for what it is. It feels heavy, it's lined, it's really well made. It is a very affordable option to what I normally see in the store. So I would not sit on this one. This one may disappear as far as sizing goes pretty quickly. Now let's talk about tops. And I do wanna say that I'm wearing the same pair of jeans and generally the same pair of shoes with all of these tops. So check those in the description box. The jeans are actually from A Goldie. I believe they're the Riley Crop. And I got them from Shopbop, which is actually owned by Amazon. So if you ever wanna shop Shopbop and get your stuff super fast by using Amazon Prime, which is what I did, 
you can access it through Amazon, which I think is pretty cool. So, all right, moving on to the tops. Let's start with something I can wear right now in this almost 90 degree heat. And it is the contrasting trim V-neck, slightly oversized tee. This one reminds me a lot of one of my all time favorite shirts from Nordstrom that was, I think the treasure and bond uh, brand, but the sizing was limited. I don't know if they still have it in stock. There are only a few colors. Whereas because this one is Amazon, there are 16 colors to choose from. Uh, all of the tees, like I said, are v-neck, slightly oversized, have a solid color body, and then a contrasting trim around the neckline and the arms. So it does run oversized, but true to size. So if you want that oversized look, just get your regular size. I'm wearing mine in a size small. This next one is another basic t-shirt material kind of top. It's long sleeve, but they added a couple little details to make it slightly more than just throwing on a basic tee. So it has the slightly puffed peaked shoulders and then smocking around the wrists, just gives a little bit of a more interesting shape to the arms, comes in, you know, all the usual suspects. I decided to just go with black because as much as I enjoy wearing black, actually this is not from Amazon, this is from Nordstrom, got it during the anniversary sale. I don't have that many basic black tops in my closet. And so I figure I might as well grab some from Amazon because you can't go wrong with those prices. All right, moving on to something that I already have and I love so much, I bought two more of them. And I'm talking about these waffle knit V-neck tops. So I have talked earlier about how cardigans, depending on the sizing and how they fit, are can look dated. And I specifically was referring to the very fitted shorter ones, but by no means are cardigans out of style, not at all. It's just the length and or the style. So I have a closet full of longer length cardigans. I'm not giving those up. And if you have something in your closet that you love, do not give those up either. You hold on to them. So I have tons and tons of cardigans, things to layer under them, not so much. So I love this waffle knit V-neck sort of Henley style long sleeve tee I had in the white and I layered it under quite a few cardigans, but I wanted just some different colors. And I hopped online to see if they had anything else because when I originally ordered this, it only came in white. And now let me check nine colors. So I ordered two of them. These are not only great to wear on their own, great to throw under a cardigan or a blazer or what have you, but they're also just super soft and you just, they feel like, like a cloud. They're so lovely. So I got two, I got one in a slate blue and one in an olive green. And now I have three out of the nine colors and I wouldn't be surprised if I pick up a few more. They are just fantastic. And they do run true to size. I have mine in a size small. This next one, depending on what you pair it with, could either be loungewear, which is what I initially thought of it as when I saw it on the website, or you can just wear it out and about and it can look totally different. First, I wanna show it to you wearing those eight goldie jeans with the booties. Is that what I'm wearing? Yes, with the booties and mules. They're kind of like a hybrid between a booty and a mule. They're an interesting shoe, aren't they? It looks a little more put together when I put it with the jeans. And I did pick a color, again, it's that camel tone that for years, decades, I thought I could not wear this color, but I'm really, really liking it in the last couple of years. Again, let me double check. 13 other colors to choose from if this one isn't for you. you. I decided to just wear it on its own without a shirt underneath it. You just wanna zip up a little bit, so you know it's a little more coverage there, but it also lends itself well to loungewear. You could throw it over a tank. In this case, I decided to pair it with a pair of pants that we're gonna get back to. Um, I'll talk about that momentarily. It's a great versatile piece, and what I love about it is traditionally a lot of these quarter zip shirts also have the pockets on the side, which while it's handy, does make the shirt get a little more boxy and it doesn't drape right and it can look, it can make at least me look bigger than I am. So I like that there are no pockets on this for a change. And I'm someone who loves pockets. So if you did watch that how to not look frumpy video, then this next cardigan may look a little bit familiar because I shared how this is a, I keep hitting my watch, sorry. I shared how this is a slightly different way to wear a shorter uh, cardigan. It is still short. It is technically boxy, but they kind of got around that by putting those slits on the side. So there's a little more shape to it. It's not just a straight square on top of legs. There's some different angles to it. And then again, you, depending on whether you wear it open or closed, that changes how it goes. You could also 
wear it on its own, do a little half tuck uh, with maybe just a cami underneath it. So it's a pretty versatile piece. I'm not sure about the, I love this color, but I will be honest, I'm not sure about this color on me. I feel like it needs a little more richness to it. It does come in four other colors to choose from, so there's gonna be a color for everyone, but I just think it's a great piece to have in a neutral. If you like a shorter cardigan, you like it hitting at that length better, this is a newer silhouette to try. I have another cardigan to share with you. Again, this one is shorter, and I have to admit, it's a different way for me to wear a cardigan. Normally, when I think of a cardigan, it's worn open, draping over something cute underneath. This time, I decided to just wear it as a buttoned, buttoned up as a, as a sweater, more like a shirt. So this is from the house brand called The Drop from the Amazon. It's probably my favorite brand, if you wanna call it that, from Amazon. It's just a little more higher quality. The designs are a little more on trend, a little more modern but it's still very affordable price. This one comes in three colors. I love this beautiful blue though. I love the details of the sleeves that are slightly tighter fit, but then you have some interesting silhouettes happening up in the upper arms. And I just love how it can be worn on its own without having to worry about accessorizing it. But of course you can unbutton it, wear it open over just about anything underneath. Now, I am a sucker for a set or pieces that are meant to be worn together. I love chocolate. Now, I don't actually love the chocolate food. Like, I'll eat it, but I can live without chocolate. But I love the colored chocolate, this deep, rich, beautiful brown tone. It, this um, sweater set does come in seven different colors for the top, nine different colors for the pull-on pants. So let's talk about the top first. These pieces are sold separately. These are also from the drop from Amazon. Um, I have both pieces in a size small. I like that it feels like um, almost like a scuba knit material. It's not like a typical yarn feel to it. So it drapes a little bit differently than a traditional sweater. I really, like I mentioned, love this chocolate. I think the two of them paired together are amazing. Runs, if not true to size, maybe a smidge big because I have them in a size small and even though I have definitely have saddlebags and a tummy, it still fits on me just fine. And it was something I was a little concerned about because as sweater pants in particular or knit pants are not the most forgiving. I will say the key to wearing these is to make sure your underwear fits appropriately. Nothing is digging in and causing anything to bulge that will be a dead giveaway. So make sure your underwear fits properly. I also think this is great for loungewear or casual thing. It looks a little more put together than a sweatshirt and leggings or a sweatshirt and joggers, things I also love wearing. But it just looks like you tried. And you know, I work from home and more often than not, when you watch me filming, I might have a cute top on, but I'm in pajama bottoms. And I'm really trying harder to change it on my pajamas in the morning and actually get dressed, even if that just means some nicer loungewear. So this set works great for that. So sticking with the sweater pant concept, I will admit this next pair is somewhat of a mistake, but I actually end up loving them and I'm keeping them. I bought these drop sweater ribbed wider leg pants to go with that chunky short cardigan, that, that oatmeal color, but the oatmeals don't line up. So the set idea went out the window, but I really like it paired with this chocolate sweater, or I think it would look great with something black, but it's a perfect loungewear, chilling at home kind of look. And I will say this also runs true to size, and the pants do come in five other colors, so if this oatmeal color is not your thing, they have a navy, they have a black, that's probably what I should have gone with but I, I kind of, I'm getting attached to these beigey oatmeal ones. Then next, I have two kind of pant things from one of my favorite brands, Colorful Koala. It's an odd name. If you watched, I did it quite a few months ago, I did sort of Lululemon lookalikes, and I found a bunch of stuff on Amazon that was pretty much exactly the same as a lot of the pieces that you can find at Lululemon. In some instances, I prefer the Amazon version. And Colorful Koala is definitely a brand where you can find a lot of those crossovers. So I did pick up another pair of my, my favorite leggings from them. They're buttery soft, and I just didn't have enough of them that have the pockets on the sides. I have a ton that have just like the normal traditional kind. But now that we're getting closer to legging weather for me, I just wanted to get a few more. 
I am currently in a size medium in Colorful Koala. These run, if not true to size, and a little bit small. So if you're not sure, I would size up one. But then the other thing that I just recently got that I wanna show you is a Colorful Koala jogger pant. These are the material of leggings, but they're thinner, so they you know drape a little bit but they're very much more like a lounge type pant. And I paired them with that quarter zip top that I originally showed you in the jeans. And it's a completely different look and I love it. And it is my going to be my go-to work from home outfit. And just like the leggings, the jogger pants run small as well. So I've got them in a medium too. Speaking of the look for less, when I went to the LTK conference, I know you're sick of hearing it. This would probably be the last reference. There are quite a few girls who are walking around with these Gorgeous shoes. I think the brand is called Mock Mock. I had never heard of it. I immediately went online to order it. Then I saw the shoes were $1,200, so I did not. Then I found basically the identical shoe on Amazon and it comes in so many colors. These are $59.99, last I checked. They come in 13 colors. This wraps around your ankle. I love this pink. There's a brighter pink. So many cute options. They do run small. I normally wear a seven. I got these in a seven and a half and they just fit just right. It's about a three inch heel and there are multiple other models from this brand, but this is the one that looks pretty much identical to the shoes that the girls at the conference were wearing minus the $1,200 price tag. So I had to share this. Holidays are coming up. Uh, these would be great. They have them in black, silver. There's something to go with every outfit. If you are a bride, they have them in white. I think these are really cool and they have memory foam in here. So they're actually pretty comfortable. The other shoe that I picked up fairly recently, you've heard me already talk about, is these lookalikes for the Steve Madden booties. Again, very different price tag. And then it wouldn't be fall if I didn't get my annual pair of slippers. So these are my favorite slippers. They look just like the UGG ones, but they are not UGG because I mean, this one is I think a year old. So it's pretty beat up. I have paint on it. I don't even know what I was painting. The faux shirling inside is all, it's all matted down. I don't care, they're like 20 bucks. So I ordered another one, voila, all new and fluffy and just waiting for me to stick my feet in. I'm just waiting for it to not be 90 degrees. If you're thinking about holiday gifts, someone will love these. I usually get two pair. I like coordinating my slippers with my pajamas so that there's a few colors to choose from. And I wear a size seven in shoes and I get the medium and they fit perfectly. They are fantastic. To finish out accessories, let me grab these guys. We have the set of belts that I was talking about in my September favorites. They are a set of three. You have a cool tone beige, you have a rich tan brown, and then there is a black as well. These are great. I love these options. You know, you can belt them around a blazer, you can belt them around a longer dress, add some shape to something. Super stretchy. There's a lot of room on these. I have one beauty product to recommend to you. These are recommended to me by Kathleen Jennings from Kathleen Jennings Beauty. They are the 24 karat gold eye masks. These work well, you know, that's all well and good, but like I've mentioned a few times, I do travel a lot and I love that these are packaged individually so I can just throw a few in my toiletry bag and they are good to go. Brought these along to that conference that I'm gonna stop referencing, I promise. And then I have two just kind of general lifestyle things that while they're very specific to what I need, they may work for something that you're looking for. The first is a Bluetooth keyboard. I do a lot of thumb typing on my phone, especially when we travel, answering your comments, responding to Instagram DMs, and I am not complaining, I love it. I love to hear from you. It is my favorite thing, especially on Instagram. I feel like we get like conversations going there, but it's hard to type fast with the thumbs for me. So. I found this guy and you can connect three devices. It's iOS and Android compatible. And so this can connect to my iPhone, it can connect to my iPad and I can respond to all you guys. So I really, really am loving this. And then the other completely random thing is we usually have bells on a like rope type thing hanging off of our back door. So when the dogs need to go out, they hit it and ours was getting old and kind of grimy. And I found these, it's a slightly longer length than what I was using before. So the Westies can reach it more easily. If you're new here and you didn't know, I do have three dogs. They show up from time to time, a little bit more on Instagram than here on YouTube. I have one Weimaraner. He's the most easily seen just cause he's humongous. And then we have two West Highland 
white terriers, also known as a Westies. And they are the loves of our lives. Do please check the description box for all of those Amazon Prime Day recommendations. There's some good stuff in there. Happy early holiday shopping if that's your thing, or if you're just shopping for yourself, let me know what you're looking for. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask, and I will see you in the next one.